For pocket machining, we will use the same tool that we used for machining contours. So we don't have to choose a tool anymore. We can choose pocketing from the machine tab. Pocket machining removes material from the interior of a closed geometry. Similarly to the machining contours, select the vertical and selected options. Let's move to the general tab. Here select the type contour. We don't have any islands but leave the full in the final pass around island section and start cutting at inside. Let's move to the levels and cuts tab. Parameters from contour machining have been saved and as the safe rapid level we can leave 25 mm, as the rapid down to leave 5 mm, as the material top leave 0 and as the final depth leave minus 18. Let's change the number of cuts to 18 and select equal option in the depths of cut section so that all passes are the same depth in the Z axis. Go to the machining data tab and enter 1 in the stock to be left field. This will leave a 1 mm allowance for finishing. Later we will remove this allowance by machining contours. The width of cut parameter is responsible for the side step. It means the distance between successive passes in the XY axis. Let's enter here 8. Click OK. And select the large circle. Accept the selection. OK. I switch to the XY view and the cutting width is the distance between these passes. OK. In the next lesson we will run the simulation to see how this machining look like.